Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharon and this is Classy Shades Designs. In today's video, I'm going to recreate the look that I saw at a home goods store about three months ago. It was a really pretty, really beautiful and elegant wall decor. And if you want to learn how you can do this for just under $20 as opposed to spending a hundred plus on this original version, then keep watching. For this project, I'm going to use a white foam board from the Dollar Tree. And I went to Joanne Fabrics because they were having a 40% off sale plus some additional coupons. And I purchased some of this crafting paper. I'm gonna use this gold piece and I'll use this white and silvery one. This gold, this white and silvery one which has a glitter inside of it. This white one has a shiny sheen on top of it. I'm going to use this gold one which also has some glitter. It's the sister to the uh, silver one. Then this plain white kind of has like a um, netting mesh in it. And then we'll use this white or silverish color one, grayish color that has a scallop design inside of it. I'm also going to use two of the uh, faux mirrors that I'd used in another project. I think the letter S and I'll leave that up above. And you'll also need these supplies, uh, etching knife, some scissors, pencil and a ruler. Using money and time wisely, I used the top of the faux mirror that came, that little cardboard that came across there. I used that to cut out my template that I'm going to use to make for cutting all of this um, paper that we'll use to make create the design and all I did was cut the template out and laid it onto the paper and traced it and what you'll need to do is make sure that you trace some um, facing the left and then some facing the right so that you make sure that you can have your look the same way and it's pretty simple to do that just flip the uh, template upside down and you'll have the arrows pointing the opposite direction this is very important because if you do them all the same direction then your picture will not come out right because your arrows won't line up properly and so once I traced it out I then took my ruler and just made as many of them fit in a piece of paper that I could and I went ahead and started cutting everything out accordingly and so these are the right and left pieces that I ended up with that we'll make our design with. I also took my foam board out spray outside and spray painted it with the light coat of some silver metallic spray. And I decided that I would use this locket spray on the foam board in order to allow the pieces to lay flat on it. Now prior to doing all this, I did a dry fit to make sure that I had enough pieces in the pattern that I wanted to lay them in. And I started gluing them down like this just repeating what I had tried with the dry fit now the locket spray adhesive is perfect because it helps work with the paper but on the mirrors themselves I went ahead and used hot glue so that they would be able to lay flat and have a stronger hold I also used my diamond wrap to outline the edge so here's the version from the home goods store and here's how mine turned out I created this look for less than $20. So why don't you tell me what you think? I feel like it's a pretty good replica and it saved me a lot of money, but leave me a comment down below. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, stay classy. I'll see you in our next video.